We began Tinkertown in this location in 1983 and Ross had started all the carvings in the 60s when he was in the army and had the western town in a trailer and would take it around to state fairs as a traveling show because he was a carnival and circus painter. We decided to take it off the road and build a permanent location for it here in the 80s and opened in 1983. The main exhibit at Tinkertown is the miniature western town that Ross started in 1962. It's all hand carved, animated, 1880s western town complete with a, a blacksmith shop and a, a hotel and a general store and 26 buildings and about 300 people and they all do stuff and are animated and have interesting stories, all in miniature. And there's a whole free ring circus that he hand carved and animated over 20 years. Uh, there's a sailboat that my brother spent 10 years sailing around the world and built in England in 1936 that we have on display here when he finished sailing. So we started collecting bottles from the sides of the roads in the early 80s and became a neighborhood recycling center for almost 20 years. And now we have over 55,000 bottles cemented in walls. And Ross was just always searching out rocks and bottles and something interesting to build the physical layout of Tinkertown. And he spent, you know, 40 years building it. He unfortunately was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease when he was only 57. He died at 62 in 2002. So we keep the place going. We get about 28,000 visitors a season and we're open April 1st to November 1st. We charge $3.75 for adults and $1.25 for kids. I recommend coming back many times because the first time you are sort of overwhelmed with how much is here and the second and third time you can kind of process it and really delve in and, and really see what, what he's created. and bring your friends and family.